Welcome to Monday, the 29th day of July, 2024. This day weather podcast being brought to you by Wyoming State Parks. Why wonder about the outdoors in Wyoming? Explore the statewide interactive outdoor recreation wonder map to find your next adventure. Overall, it is going to be a quiet week of weather across the western United States. There isn't a lot going on, kind of the summer doldrums. But we did see over the weekend, as evidenced by that photo there, of the snow shovel. That's not snow, that's a lot of small hail. But it was a busy weekend of thunderstorm activity. Hopefully you were one of the lucky ones and got some rain over the last few days. Some of you did, some of you didn't. But if you did, you probably did pretty good with the rainfall in many areas as that subtropical moisture plume was overhead. Now the pattern's changing and evolving a little bit and it's gonna be drier, not for all, but for many. There are still gonna be thunderstorms in the western United States, but we're gonna see the thunderstorms more concentrated where the moisture's deeper. That'll be in the southwest United States. We'll show you there here in a minute. A lot of the central Rockies, a lot of the western slope areas, you're just really not going to see much happening for probably a good seven days or so. We're just kind of in a little period of the summer doldrums. And overall, it's going to be warmer. We'll also take a look at where the smoke is likely going to be as we'll still be dealing with that. Possible solar storm coming tomorrow. We had a lot of solar activity over the weekend. Lots of solar flares, some strong ones, several in a row. And uh, that is a situation that could put a solar storm on the map tomorrow. So for you Aurora watchers, you'll want to pay attention here over the next 24 hours. Now the next surge of deeper monsoonal moisture is going to come next week. I think next week we're probably going to have another period of several days of heavy thunderstorm activity. But we've got this break between now and then before that happens. But when we finally cleared out the smoke, got the subtropical moisture in, hey, we could start to see the clouds again. And great shot there of thunderstorms building late last week, Friday and into the weekend. Saw a lot of those clouds build into showers, thunderstorms put on quite a light show there. And the thunderstorms were widespread all across Cedar Mountain West, mountains and into the plains. Then we still had some great sunrises, sunsets, smoky haze conditions. And speaking of smoke and haze, there's a shot from late last week near Cody where the smoke was still pretty thick at the time. What we're going to see this week, as you'll see here in the map, is it's really going to be less about Canada's smoke as smoke conditions actually in Northwest Canada have really improved quite a bit. However, New fire activity in the Sierras right here and the ongoing fires in the Pacific Northwest will be adding to the smoke plume. So instead of the smoke plume coming in from the north, smoke plumes are coming up from the west and southwest. I do not see it as thick as last week, but there's going to be episodes where there's going to be smoke and haze, especially if you're downwind of these fires here. So that'll be something that uh, we'll just have to contend with throughout the week. The upper level wind pattern today, high pressure ridge over the Texas Panhandle, southwest flow here will direct moisture into Arizona and southern New Mexico, but the flow is westerly here. That's bringing in the drier air. So as the moisture tries to come north, the top of it, its head gets cut off and gets directed east. So you're not going to get a lot of subtropical moisture further north in this pattern. When you see the satellite image, you can see very quiet weather conditions in the west, and then the water vapor really shows the intrusion of the dry air. There it is in the orange and the red red arrows there. The, you can see that drier air punching in. Well, if you want to know where the thunderstorms are going to be today, right here. The subtropical moisture will be coming into Mexico, Arizona, New Mexico, getting into parts of southern Colorado. Then some of it is streaking eastward into here. Also, see this swirl? If you look real close, we've got a swirl right there, an upper level low going across the U.S. Canadian border. This is causing a westerly flow here. This will make it a little bit breezy across the central and northern Rockies as well. But this is why you're going to see some of that smoke from the fires in the Sierras get pushed eastward through there. So dry air intruding in the middle here. The Pacific Northwest has got a couple of lows. 
the deeper subtropical moistures down here. And you can really see that on the precipitable water map. See the little areas of white and green here? That's what we just showed you on the satellite imagery. So thunderstorms down there, it's kind of like a dry sandwich. There's a lot of dryness in between the two areas where there is subtropical moisture, deeper moisture up here, but you're not gonna get a lot. You're gonna get some shower and thunderstorm activity up here, but it's not gonna be terribly productive. Deeper moisture down here. You'll get some showers and thunderstorms out on the plain. So it's really this time of year, it's where the moisture is, is where you're gonna see the action. So thunderstorms will be out onto the plains today, down in the desert southwest, across a lot of the Rockies, plains back to the west coast, not much going on. If we were to take the water vapor, precipitable water, and take a look at it here over the next week, you can see that overall, there isn't a persistent long deep period of green or blue. We've got some areas of white, but we've also got a lot of brown. So this takes us through Sunday. So basically for the next six days, We'll have some action here along the U.S. Canadian border with some showers and thunderstorms. Some occasional showers and thunderstorms will be getting into the southwestern United States. If you look right at the end, you're going to see moisture increasing out of Mexico coming up here, starting the new arc. But that's really not going to be arriving until the middle of next week. So if we were to look at the next six days of precipitation, the Pacific Northwest, parts of the Northern Rockies, Canada, going to get some rain. We'll see some rain out here in the plains, Arizona, New Mexico, Southern Colorado. You're going to have a little bit of action in between, though, right here. Yeah, you'll get the occasional rogue thunderstorm, but that'll be it. So not a lot of excitement. Later in the forecast period, the high pressure ridge is going to start to shift eastward. So here comes the situation where the door opens. The moisture from the Gulf of Mexico has the ability to come up, around, and through. Basically, the same situation that we just went through this past weekend and late last week. Another probably three to four day period of deeper subtropical moisture. There it is. But it's not arriving until maybe at the earliest next Tuesday or Wednesday. But it could be quite deep. So there's going to be some rain next week coming back on in. Not much rain for most of you over the next five to seven days. Temperatures will be pretty warm as well. Nothing earth shattering, nothing terribly record breaking, but pretty warm across the lower 48 in Southern Canada over the next five to seven days. I guess this is where we kind of get into what we call the dog days of summer. Talking very quickly about the possible geomagnetic storm, strong flares occurred over the weekend and there were several flares and they occurred coming out of this same sunspot region, and they're lined up. And when you get what they call these cannibal uh, solar flare ejections, CMEs, to where they work together, and we have the possibility, as we get into tomorrow, of a G3, so a pretty strong solar storm. So Aurora watchers, you're going to want to keep track of things. Not saying there's going to be, but there is the possibility of a geomagnetic storm and possible aurora activity at the higher latitudes, maybe getting down to the lower latitudes as we get into tomorrow and tomorrow night. So something to keep an eye on. The solar activity is very active and this may come up again as we come into the next weeks ahead. Have yourself a good Monday. We'll see you tomorrow.